Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my 7 Days Die single player Let's Play. We're on episode 33, and I am just here finishing up in this town, looting, and then I'm going to go back to my base and start getting ready for the Day 28 Horde. Um, yet, last video, I did find what I came here for. I found the uh, ammunition book. Um, thank God, and hallelujah. Uh, it is freaking awesome, and uh, that's basically my most, like, sought-after item I've been looking for up to this point. Now my most sought-after item is going to be the handlebars for the mini bike. Actually... One could be, one could say that, it's not bad. One could say that finding the, uh, finding the handlebars for the minibike is probably more important than any gun, because with the minibike I could search more thoroughly through, uh, throughout the game, but, uh, yeah, it's fine. I'm, I'm still happy to get the, uh, to be able to make the bullets for the, uh, for the sniper rifle. It's awesome. I'm just so happy. I've, I've recently come up with a, 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 I wouldn't say a system to search stuff more, more thoroughly, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going through houses now and searching everything that I think is of importance, uh, basically everything in the house except for the kitchen. I have yet to find any schematics in a kitchen, uh, yet, so I'm assuming that they're not found there. Um, I hope I'm not wrong or people are gonna freaking go crazy, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> uh, eat that... And did I pick up some water? Yeah, there we go. Drink. Drink with me, my friends. Scrap. Scrap. We keep that. We scrap that. Scrap that. Drink that. This is my prize. This is my second prize possession. A flawless pistol grip. The pistol grip for each gun. There's one item that's rarer than the others, and the pistol grip is the rare item for the gun for the pistol. Um, and thank God, I, like, that's just so cool that it, it came out to be, uh, a perfect, because, uh, that's just freaking awesome. Oh, boy. Big door here. Actually, you know what? You don't go through that door. I heard you. We go through right here. See? See? One hit. Huh? Huh? Come on. Give me my props, guys. I don't know what number this is. I know I break these up on, on hit 15, so... Usually on hit 15, I go, open sesame! Um, ooh, these are all pretty garbage. Throw that away. Throw that away. Throw that away. God. And we're just gonna break these up. <clears throat> I've come to start breaking up any part that is less than green. Uh, just because I've got so many parts now. Somebody told me that all of the faucets in all the houses now are brass. Let's see if that's true. Um, it is not true. This is not brass. Oh, it is brass! So that's weird. It says house, house faucet. It looks like iron, but it gives you brass. Interesting. Thanks for the tip. I'm gonna actually need those, uh... I'm gonna need th that brass now if I'm gonna make bullet casing, so... That is a very good tip. I won't be, uh, gathering it all this time, but... It'll be good for the future. Uh, what do we got here? What do we got here? That's not bad. Hey, I used that item out of the inventory screen. It didn't kick me out. I thought it would've. Oh, wow! Ten? Damn, that's pretty nice. Oh, a blue hunting rifle. Too bad I got a sniper rifle, but still. Um, that's not bad. Alright, now we have to do some inventory management. Let me, uh, break these up. I was saving these candy tins for, uh, landmines, but I just don't get enough of them. So, um, hunting rifle. We don't need hunting rifle. Well, I'm gonna save the parts anyway. Whatever. I usually like to save the parts for different guns in case I die and I need extra guns. Probably never will, but whatever. It's still... Uh, we'll leave those up there. We'll take that, that, and that. We don't need this. Honestly, we don't need the hunting rifle. But I'm not going to break it up because, I don't know. Might want to keep it. Again, if I ever lose my sniper rifle, let's say I'm out somewhere fighting and I get killed and, it, and you know, something happens. I need, to, I need, I need, and I need a weapon to go fight back to get my sniper rifle. And I don't have the parts to make another sniper rifle. That's when the hunting rifle comes into play. So I am going to actually hold on to it. Um, actually, I think I'm going to hold on to all this. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to all this, damn. It's a lot of good stuff here. <clears throat> this town was a really good town. 
Wait, did I get everything in here? Yes, I did. Got the front marked. Got the back marked. Now we just need to check this place out. No, we don't, because we already got that. And we got that, so now we need that house right there. And then this block is done. I hate it when the game starts getting that gray, like, washed out look. I think it's something to do with the fog or something, but it's I, I hate it when it gets like that. For those of you who don't know what's going on, the game looks kind of washed out right now. It has something to do with, like, weather effects or something. I'm not really sure what, but I hope they fix it. Because it looks terrible. Drink the damn coffee. Yeah. I love these houses with the basement and the freaking attic. Uh, nothing. You know what? I, can, I maybe if I don't get another thing, I can't complain. This has been a great, great looting trip. I've not been getting what I want out of the filing cabinets, though. It's kind of weird. Like, I found a bunch of, like, schematics in them in the past, and now I'm not really finding much of anything. I will keep checking, though. I've learned my lesson about the filing cabinets, and I learned it well. All right. Let's go ahead and make some room here. Uh, drink. Break that up. Break these up. Oh, they don't go together. What am I thinking? Drink that. Now I'm full, so I can't drink beer. That was a mistake. But whatever, we got the grain alcohol, so it's kind of irrelevant. Oh, man. All right, you guys can say God bless you, because I just sneezed my friggin' brains out of my nose. Oh, my goodness. That was, a, that was a rough one. A lot of people say, like, oh, I'm sorry you're sneezing. That sucks. Allergies suck. I'm like, don't be sorry, man. If I sneeze, then that's that's a good day. Um, it's, when my, it's when I can't sneeze and my my nose starts getting, like, pressure, you know, that, uh, that it's a terrible day. So, if I'm sneezing, I'm happy. Okay, so now we gotta do this side. So let's start at this place right here. From now on, when we loot a block, we will go top, uh, top left to bottom right. I've been spotted. Your funeral. Okay. We live pretty far away. We might want to think about going home at a, like an early hour. I mean, we really we live really, really far away. Now, if we don't get home in one day, it's not the end of the world. Because we can always find a place to stay for the night, but... Also, we have grain alcohol, so we could just outrun the zombies. Like, the entire night. It wouldn't matter. <clears throat> Excuse me. I prefer not to spend my entire night running around in the dark, though. First of all, I can't record it because it would be dark. Um, second of all, it would just be... I don't know. I like to spend my time at night... Uh, inventory management. <gasps> inventory managementing. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what you want to call that. <clears throat> I guess you would say managing inventory, but when I say inventory first, I'm kind of stuck with that. I will not be going after that airdrop. It does not concern me at the moment. Oh man, that's nice. Uh, oh boy, I'm gonna have to make some decisions here, guys. Uh, well, we need the gun oil, absolutely. We probably don't need a green pistol barrel, but we definitely don't need these. Is there anything else I could break down? Core pistol receiver? Yes, we'll break that down. 
Do we have any yellow or poor items or anything like that? No. We can probably get rid of that beer eventually. We will be hung we will be thirsty enough to be able to drink it. And we probably don't need three iron arrowheads. But we'll hold on to them for now. That flashlight's a little too strong. The graphics uh, don't handle it too well. Okay. Poor pistol. We don't need a poor pistol. It's got, um... Yeah, none of these parts I care about. Now, is this looting stuff too boring for you guys? Like, what do you think? Let me know in the comments, because I kind of feel like I don't have anything to talk about. And I feel, I understand it's it's kind of action-packed, but at the same time, is this really, like, that exciting for you guys? Do you want me to start looting off-camera? The thing is, I don't want to loot off-camera, um, because when I find, like, an ammunitions book or something, I want you guys to be there with me. You know what I mean? Uh, let's go ahead and use some pills to uh, bring down our hydration a little bit. And that'll allow us to take the beer. Yeah, like when I find the ammunition book or like, you know, the handlebar book eventually, you know, I want you guys to be there to share my joy, so, I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you like bored out, bored to tears with this or what? Scrap. 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 That was a whole lot of nothing in there. Did I go upstairs? I don't remember. I think I did. I usually go upstairs first. Yeah, I did. Sorry. <laughs> Any guys are probably cage. You did go upstairs. It was like two seconds ago. Yeah, this building's done. How did I get in here? Front door. That's that's how. I just want to be able to, if I look in the back wind, back door, I want to be able to see the, the wood so I know I've been here. Okay. Oh, I went to the wrong building, or... Did I do this one? Yeah, I did this one. Okay. So we did that. We did that. We should have did this one. This should have been the next one. I went out of order. Maybe I did do this one, actually. I might have. I think I did. See why I get confused here? Oh, no, I didn't. I get confused on what building I've been to and what I haven't. Okay. Another safe. No? There it is. Is there anything else down here? I never thought to look. Nope. Alright, another safe. Ah, uh, 15 hits isn't too bad. And these safes are usually pretty decent, I guess. The thing is, if I break into the safe, people complain it takes too long. And if I don't break into the safe, they complain that I didn't break into the safe. So, alright, we need to put this up here. I need to make some more room here. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, those can... This stuff's all gonna get broken up, except for this. Okay, just finished up deciding what I need to break up and stuff. By the way, I have 201 scrap iron just from hitting towns. That is... That's significant. It really is. Um, hitting towns might be a little bit better source of iron than I, uh, than I was giving it credit for. That's what I'm talking about. Finally! And now I can make the outside wall in concrete. Read. R-E-A-D. Very good. Very good. That is awesome. That is awesome. I've almost... I think I found just about everything that I wanted except for the, uh... The handlebar book. Alright. We cannot afford to take just one bandage. Just... I can't do it. I can't justify it. 
We need to start going home, too. Oh, that's not bad. This has been a great looting uh, looting uh, run on this town. It's amazing what you can do when you don't skip bu like skip buildings. Oh, we can break that up. We will take that barrel because I have some shotguns that I can put together. Oh, you know we need to get out of here for real. I forgot I got to do some inventory management before I even start to go home. Get back to the house. It is this one right here. We were just remember. Uh, hopefully, I remember I was in the middle part of this town. If I ever come back, technically this town is not finished. Um, I probably won't come back here though, just because at least not anytime soon. Just because the town's. I would say this town's about 75 or 80 percent done, um, and that's enough of a percentage not to have me come back. You know, for a while. We also need to get home and get uninfected, so. Okay. Alright, I'm going to do some inventory management. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And um, I have actually, very dangerously, uh, made some runs throughout the night. Uh, I came back here. When I was back here, I, I organized all my inventory. I realized I, realized I would need two trips. Um, so I made one trip back to the base, dumped everything off, and then came back here for a second trip. On my way back here... It was actually nighttime. Um, I really didn't see many zombies, but I did have my grain alcohol, so I was, you know, you can outrun the zombies or grain alcohol. I was actually debating on whether I wanted to record this next run back because, you know, to be perfectly honest, uh, the first run was a little uneventful, but I'm going to record it anyway so you could see me running back throughout the night with fast zombies um, using nothing but just grain alcohol. Yeah, I had so much stuff, guys. I had to make two trips. I had no choice. Like, there were so many gun parts that were, like, not, you know, that aren't stackable. And I really didn't have much choice. So I basically put my little house on the front of my compass, and I ran all the way home. Um, ran all the way back. Ran back halfway through the night. Um, and really didn't have any problems. A couple zombies chased me, but no big deal. Um... So here we are. This is the hardest part about it. There's like a little cliff face here. I built a little stairway up, but um, in the middle of the night, this could be a little dangerous. I was debating doing this in the middle of the night, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Um, this cliff face, like, was no joke. So let's, uh, let's get up here. Once we get up this part, the rest should be pretty easy. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let's make sure we're on course. We are pretty much on course. Um, I just restarted the game because I was curious uh, on where I have the zombie spawning. Because I've had the zombie spawning on high for quite a while now. But I feel like I've got enough of a grip on the this, this season. to. Uh, I've been wanting to put the zombies on very high for quite a while. So that's what I did. I went ahead and put the zombies on very high. Uh, basically... I've been meaning to put the zombies on very high for, you know, a few videos now, and I keep forgetting. So just because that clicked in my mind, I figured I would just stop right now and do it. Because, uh, ooh, I really wish I could check that out, but I can't. Um, yeah, I wanted to check... I wanted to check to make sure the zombies, uh, were on very high, because I keep forgetting. Like, I kept... I keep meaning to put them on very high, and then I just forget. So while it was in my mind, I said, you know what, let's just pause the video right now, shut down the game, put them on very high, because... Let's face it, guys. It's time to turn it up a little bit. It's time to turn it up a little bit. Okay. I'm worried about shooting off my gun. Because, like, yeah, I could shoot off my gun, but won't that, like, just call more zombies? So what's the point? We could outrun them anyway. Should we stay on the road? Uh, yeah, actually we can. I didn't stay on my road my last run up there, but there's a bunch of hills up there, so it'd just be easier to stay on the road. Plus, it'll make it easier to do this. See, I'm not good with aiming it. I just gotta... I just gotta no-scope it. That's how I, that's how I kill. No-scope! What up? Okay, so yeah, this should come out... Over here. Yeah, we should start. Let's let's go left. This road isn't going to go exactly where I want it to go. It'll eventually take me where I need to go, but um, the fact of the matter is, it will. I think it's going to take me into a hub city. Yes, I did come by a hub city in the snow biome. Um, I just I just went right through it. I'm not going to loot a hub city off camera, obviously. 
But I just made a note of it being there, so uh, the next place I loot will be that hub city for sure. Alright, so let's just keep our little house in front of us and keep going. It's pretty bright out, man. That's not even like a big moon. I don't know why the game's so bright. It's kind of weird. I mean, I'm glad it is, but... Oh, man. I'm... <laughs> I bit my tongue the other day. I haven't mentioned this on a few videos, but I bit my. If I sound a little weird, it's because I bit my tongue the other day, and uh, it's been bothering me quite a bit. And the only thing that makes it feel any better is spraying uh, chloroseptic on it, so it numbs it up real good. <laughs> Chloroseptic's usually used for like uh, sore throats and stuff, but I just spray it on my tongue. So I have a bad habit of grinding my teeth in my sleep, and uh, I think I bite my tongue a lot in my sleep too. It kind of sucks. Because sometimes when I'm talking or I'm eating, especially like earlier when I found the that shotgun or the uh, ammunitions book, I got excited and I kind of bit my tongue a little bit, and uh, that's what is making it hurt again. Ah, sucks. I don't like it at all. Yeah, I mean this is this is uneventful. I probably should have just did this off camera. I just wanted to show you it because like if I come back and I'm like, yeah, I ran back and forth from my house to the to that outpost during the night. With nothing but, you know, some grain alcohol. You guys would have been like, oh my god, I want to see that. And, you know, here you are seeing it, but there's not much to see. It's just me literally running, just ignoring zombies. Alright. So it's actually almost daytime. Jeez. Good, good thing I don't have to sleep in this game. I don't know, I might just pause the video and run back off camera, because this is like, there's nothing here, there's nothing to say. Worst thing about, the worst thing you do while making a YouTube video is have a boring YouTube video, and I kind of feel like there's not much here. Although, I don't know, maybe this is exciting for some people. It should be exciting, I mean, running, but once you've got that permanent stamina regeneration, zombies can't catch you. Although, you'd be surprised, you can get caught up on stuff and get killed pretty quickly. Uh... If you don't do this right. It's happened to me before. Uh, during streams, I've run around in the dark uh, with grain alcohol. And I would get caught on a little ledge or something and I've been killed. So. It's not like it's impossible to get killed. Ooh, dogs. Am I, am I getting dog hordes or what? Or am I just close to the hub city? Yeah, I'm close to the hub city. Crap. And here we got a cliff here. See, this is where it gets exciting. I got a cliff here and I cannot... I can't slow down. And if I hurt my leg, I'm dead. So... And it's daytime. Alright, well now that it's daytime, I'm really just going to do the rest of this off camera. I'm going to go home, do a little bit of inventory management, and then I will come back and we'll be uh, we'll be taking care of our base. So I will see you guys. Yeah, actually, that's, that's the end of the video for sure. Um, Alright guys, so that's going to be it for episode 33. We'll see you next time for episode 34. Till then, take it easy.